Kevin from Battle. Hello, Kevin. Hiya. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, dream-wise, what have you got for Ian? Well, I've got uh, sort of weird ones, two just recent. Uh, one is uh, over the old one. I'm in this building trying to get away from something or other, and I'm trying to keep people, uh, somebody safe. Uh, who it is, I don't know. Yes. Uh, why I'm doing it, I haven't got the focus, but it's a reoccurring dream. Right, so you keep running away, trying to keep somebody safe, and it's a recurring one, so... Yeah, and it's the same type of building every time. Right, OK. Uh, Ian Wallace, our dream analyst, is with us. Uh, Ian, just ahead of the travel, what do you make of Kevin's dream? Uh, hi, Kevin. What sort of building is it? Uh, <coughs> brick, windows, no doors. OK, so when we do about... And third story. Right. When we dream about a, a building, Kevin, it's usually about our own self. You're dreaming about your own identity, and it's probably something to do with your work. When you're trying to run away from something, there's some decision that you have to make in your professional career, and you're trying to keep someone safe. So it's maybe you're trying to choose a safe option in your profession, but you maybe have other opportunities that might seem a bit riskier for you. So what the dream is, is just encouraging you to use your talents and not be shy about displaying them in public. Would that make sense to you, Kevin? Well, yeah, sort of. The other one's a little bit weird because it's a combat situation, both of them. No. They are sort of uh, in uh, using explosives, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, and it goes, uh, and, uh, you know, sort of sort of defending the position sort of thing, you know, and, uh, yeah. you know, sort of bus turns up, you know, like, you know, sort of number one bus turns up on people I know, and... Uh, mm. You know, it's really weird, and I wake up to those that, and I'm one very similar to it. Um, ov obviously, in listening to that, Kevin is, is suffering from a recurring dream, and uh, it obviously disturbs his sleep, and he wakes up. So, what can he do in his daytime existence to try and make sure that such dreams don't carry on? The best way to resolve a nightmare or a bad dream like this is actually to take action in, in your waking life, Kevin. The combat situation, again, this points to something uh, in your work, in your professional life, and the explosive. It says, suggests that perhaps you get quite frustrated or angry at work because you're ha constantly having to defend your position. You're trying to justify what you do and justify the decisions you take. And when the bus turns up, the bus is an opportunity in your professional life to go and do something or to further your career in some way. OK. Yeah, you're about right. <laughs> yeah. Righty, OK, Kevin, good luck with that, and thanks so much for taking the time to call. Really appreciate okay, that. OK, thanks Cheers very much. much. Thanks. Bye.